Okay, here's the bulb from the previous video. We're going to attempt to autopsy it and see what's inside. Alright, what we got here is caution. And I'll go ahead and try to zoom in on this text. Risk of electric shock, do not use. We're directly exposed to water. We didn't. Not for use in a totally enclosed fixture. Recessed fixture. We didn't. ESL, electron stimulated luminescence. Okay. And there's that. And there's that. View one, VU one. That's the company. We're going to try to put a pipe wrench on the green collar, channel locks on this medium base fitting here. Try to get this off so the green collar comes off. See what happens. Give me one minute. Okay, that was step one. I put on my safety goggles. I put on my gloves and my hearing protection. Okay, not really, but I should have. Anyways, put a pipe wrench on the green part. Crescent wrench on the medium base. There was no effort. I could have just grabbed it with my hand and gone boop and pulled it off. That's all. It was that simple. Okay, phase one is complete. I have removed the white and green plastic from the exterior of the bulb. As you can see there's some carbon impregnated rubber on here. That's my next step is to remove that, try to find an evacuation nipple if there is one, and evacuate the vacuum out of this tube so we can safely work with it. Okay, well anyway, I'll be back momentarily. Okay, and as you can see, I'm slowly removing the potting material to expose the bulb, the CRT, the electronics, and all that. Okay, and after blood, sweat, and tears, here is the socket. Feel free to pause the video if you want to get a closer look. That's the socket separated from the CRT. And as you can see, there are pins. There, 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 there. There's pins, just like a regular CRT. Okay. Now I'm about to hit that evacuation nipple and see what happens. One minute. Okay. There's the evacuation nipple. I have on heavy gloves. I have on eye protection. And you can't see it, but I also have on ear protection. I'm going to snip the evacuation nipple off and see what happens. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. There we go. It's the evacuation nipple, and there's now no vacuum left in the bulb here. There's a closer look on what's inside. Wow! Oh my god, this thing just bit the piss out of me! I guess I forgot it was a, you know, cathode ray tube with a uh, flyback transformer and second anode and everything and I grabbed the circuit board off the neck of the CRT and it felt like a horse kicked me in the chest so anyhow I guess this would be the yoke that's the um, yeah, basically the socket for the tube and I'm not sure what these accoutrements are But there's the flyback transformer here, the second anode, which was connected actually to the light bulb right here. You can see it square in the middle there. So like we said when we originally shot these, it's an actual CRT with a second anode and a flyback. 
Um, I guess that's a filter cap, maybe? Um, I'm not sure what that transformer is for. Another cap that I kind of destroyed there. Some resistors. Another transistor over here. Probably part of the driver. And then, of course, there's... Ooh! I just felt another little... Not a shock, but a tingle. Um, from the bare wire there, which my pinky was on. And... Um, I can't even think it discharged by now. Anyhow, that's the neck board, controller, flyback transformer, the yoke, second anode assembly, and the red and black wires in the top right there are the input voltage. This is the tube. Obviously, it is no longer under vacuum because you just saw me snap off the evacuation nipple. But yeah, see, it's got actual if it'll focus. It's got pins. I mean, just like a CRT. Two, three, four, five. There's probably a couple more under this potting material. But yeah. Look, it's an electron gun. It is a black and white television electron gun. See it? You see the grid and everything in there? The filament? Yeah. I mean, if this thing weren't such a piece of China Pride shit, it would have been a great idea, you know? This is a cathode ray tube. Complete with, you know, deflection, a neck, everything. And it was under vacuum, as you saw. Anyhow, thanks for sticking with us and watching this View 1 CRT light bulb dimmable 10 years but it lasted us 6 weeks there you go have a great day see ya